Okay, guys, I don't usually big people up, but I've got to big up these guys. Um, we all know buying stuff off people is a worry, and this could be a lemon or not a lemon. But so far, this is RDS Motorcycles. They put a vehicle up on uh, Marketplace, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm having it. So, rung him up, done a deal. I only went and got it, didn't I? So, spoke a lot, done my research, found out who he is. Look, I'm making a video. Can, can you not rattle your bone? on the floor all right good rescue dog um okay and and my missus is sleeping so i've got to be quiet now um so anyway rds motorcycles up in rye which is a million billion miles away from where we are um but seem like a really good guy so that's going to arrive in a minute and it's going to be delivered by my mate who does this now if you want a guy to deliver stuff properly absolutely anything use him because he's great so he's going to be here any minute and i'm gonna start rolling outside shut up please shut up shut up please shut up shut up Okay, people, it's in there. Yes, yeah. Steph. If you want anything moved, you should go part on the road. So, I haven't seen this. You lot have seen nothing. I've only seen picky wickies. It's accident damage. Um, Steph did say the forks looked a bit bent, which is a bit of a bummer because that's what I bought it for. So, let's we'll see what we um see what we got, and this is the first time I've seen it. So genuine genuine excitement of what i'm gonna face oh, i was so excited i thought he'd wrapped it in bubble wrap no, wow I'm trying to make it look before it goes all holy camera. shit <laughs> okay 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 <laughs> it's not as bad as i thought it would look that's a pretty side <laughs> That looks like a new carburetor. There's a spare set of carbs in the box as well. Oh, goodies. So, what do you reckon, people? Can can you guess? Can you guess what it... Oh, that kind of gives it away. <laughs> Ta-da! Look at that! Look at that! What the fuck? So this little beauty has been sat in a workshop doing sod all for too long I told you he moves anything so well that's worth 750 quid of anyone's money in it don't you think Steph yeah wow I like them they'll look nice on a guzzy wow wow that looks like a new chain of sprockets Oh my god, well there you go guys, it starts, it starts now. Well it doesn't start, it sort of sits there and looks quite sorry for itself. Oh what's the can, what's the can? Standard Ducati can? Yeah, like that. So again, can't fault Steph. Perfect delivery guy. Look at that, this is when he comes out and drops it. If he does, I won't put it on mine. Look at the unveil, look. Look at the unveil, wow. And even the brakes are free, look. Look at that. What a beast. 60 horsepower. Yep, 60 horsepower. So we've got a little bit of, well, there is some marks on that doofer there. So, what do you think, people? fiberglass fairings oh, I think those forks are okay Steph Pardon? I think the forks are okay yeah it's tiny isn't it that's a tiny looking bike wow you're me in it another happy smiling customer what? 
what a beast of a thing okay so i i pretty much purchased this for the non-adjustable single disc brakes um upside down it's just because i thought they looked pretty nice there's a little bit of corrosion on there isn't there they're not biggies though well it doesn't matter they're upside down and i got a box of goodies as well <laughs> box of goodies it's got oil in it Ah, she seems to have... Oh, there's a little bit just coming up, but... A little bit just coming up, that's okay. Banging. Yeah, enough to start her, that's good. So I wonder if they've had issues with fueling. This is carburetted, non... non-injection. Keys are in it. Oh my god. Wow, look at that, how nice is that? Let's see what that smells like. Oh, actually, wow, I'm quite impressed with that. I'm... Yeah, I, I think that looks all right. I'm quite impressed with that. So you've got your fuel filter and there's a fuel lamp pump in there. Steel. Fancy doing that. Do you think they had to butcher them to get them off? Now, it does, it has suffered from corrosion, but there is a guy who's rebuilt one of these online and it was a lot worse than that. And when you took it apart, it was absolutely mint. Yeah. Wow, look at that. To be honest, I thought 60 horsepower is a bit low, but to be honest, <laughs> it doesn't look like there's a lot there, does it? This was a poor man's Dugatti. If you couldn't, if you couldn't afford the 700 or the 900, you bought this. What size was this? 600 cc. 60 horsepower. That's all right, still enough. Isn't it? Well, I'm quite impressed. For 750 quid, people, sometimes when they say, oh, it's too good to be true, sometimes it is good. But what do we do? Do we break it? Do we keep it? And MOT it? Because I really want those forks for the for the Mercuzzi. What do you reckon, verdict, Steph? Hard choice. It's really hard, isn't it? Yeah. You're gonna make money either way. Yeah. I'm not gonna lose. We're not gonna lose on this one, but it's a bit of a YouTube project, so I don't know how long. It's got no miles on it, though. It's literally got no mileage. And I checked it on the um, MOT thing, and it's all come back as being every MOT it's done like a thousand five hundred mile oh I haven't sat on it here I'll step oh look at that that's light as a feather that is really light obviously we have no clutch great oh my goodness that is ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. Now, you, you've heard of big fun on small bikes. That's scary light. Really scary. Oh my God. Oh my God. The Ducati 600 SS for 750 pound all in. Wow. So, time to get her in the van start playing before it gets too wet. I'm quite impressed with that. I'm really impressed with that. 750 quid, you can't go wrong, can you? But this will be the next one. We'll see what this one does. I can't go over that. Having a love for my slabs and my devils. And obviously the last two little ones, the Triumph 1200 Trophy and the Pacific Love Child. Wow. Look at it. It's just great. So, take care everyone. Final look. Oh, look at that. And if you need anything moving, it's got to be done. It's got to be done. Look at that. Look at that. Unbelievable. 
Wow, I'll tell you what, I'll, the more I look at this, the more I'm happy. The more I'm happy. I mean, that's obviously a... Yeah, I looked at that in the photos. I looked at that in the photos, but to be honest, if I'm having clip-ons or something going on, Mind you, it's weird steel clip-ons. Have you seen that? These are steel clip-ons. Yeah. I've never noticed that. So I wonder if they were set a bit lower. And that's what the scratches are, where they were, or... I don't know. Oh, look. Oh, my God. Right, Steph. <laughs> so, we have... Some fuel, I think this thing runs on a um, fuel pump. Not sure yet, I do have a remote fuel pump, I ain't even put it in. So, jump leads on from transit. Let's see what we get. Are we ready? Oh, fuck me, I didn't expect that. Okay, so we've got a few lights. Well, let's check the electrics while we're here, shall we? Um, no! Oh! <gasps> what about indicators? Oh, where's the indicators? Down there. So we've got a bolt. Have we got a bolt? No, that's working. Is it? Where is the indicators? It's snapped off. Oh, yeah, it's there, though. That's no good. Right, oh, okay. I can hear it, but I can't really see it. Oh, that one's working. I can't even see if that one's working, guys. That's not looking like it's working, is it? So I've got one. One out of two ain't bad. Let's try that way. It sounds all right, but... All right, like brake lights, guys. You'll have to tell me. Yeah, got brake light. Is that working? Oh my God. We got brake lights, we've got side lights, we've got all the electrics working that side. Rudy Gatti, awesome, right. Now, obviously I should always change the belts before I'm gonna start up a new bike, it has got oil. Um, I've had to rig up a weird sort of T-piece thing going on here, because for some reason it has um, two things. And now I'm just gonna press a button. Once this doggy goes past. I, uh, so we'll let doggy go past. Oh, that needs to be on run. Oh. So there's, oh, do I need to have the clutching? I don't know, people, do I need the clutching? Who knows? This is also for the... No, what's my rubbish going on? All right. So that done work, do I need to have that on there? Nope, that's not it. So we've got nothing on the start button. There is a what there's no well there's no electrics to the um clutch. Choke card says on, lights on. How do you turn the lights off while they're on all the time? Right, am I doing something wrong? No, I don't think so. Is it neutral? <coughs> got a horn. Got me. Okay, so there's our first issue. We've got no starter. I'll just turn that off because she's on transit. So we've got no starter. Where the fuck is the starter? Any idea, people? No. Oh, where is it? I can't even see where the high tension wire goes. Okay, so I might have to leave this now until I find out where the bloody starter is. Follow the wire, Rob. Okay, so that's going to go down to there. That's going to go down to there. That goes to that thing. Um, I'm going to have to Google it, I think. Where is it? Oh. Uh, it's, oh. Right, guys, I don't know where the starter is. Where's the starter? I know you're all shouting at me going, fuck, what the start is down there, you fucking muffet. Is it? Oh, I can't find the start. 
Ah, what's that? Um, no. Mm. Ah, maybe I don't want to do it because of that. Let's try that, shall we? Right, okay, well that didn't work either, did it? Uh, key on. Oh dear. Right, well, sorry guys, I'm going to have to go and look for a starter. Where's the starter? Oh, fuck. Fucking hell. Okay, uh, back again. Uh, right, we've done a few little things. Uh, we couldn't get it to turn over at all. Now I have. That's just with a bit of gravity fuel. That's not running bad on just gravity fuel. A little bit of a tip there. Could be, uh, just because it's cold. Yeah, I tell you what. Fucking hell! I chop that. I think that's um, is it a bit pre-ignition or something they call it? Well, I'm pretty chuffed with that. It's fucking loud. It's being held up by that lot. Yeah, that was weird. Um. Tested that one, done that, bypassed that. It's something to do with something going on here, not the earth strap, but something along this line. And if I give them a shake, I can get it to work. So there we go. Oh, that's a little baby. Ah, there you go, see? Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. But, if I put you down, because it's going to start pissing down in a minute, put you down somewhere hopefully where you can see. I'll take my glove off a minute. I don't know if you can see, where's that point? It's nowhere near our one. Alright, okay. Let's see if I can do it under my arm. Okay, so, we will shake and bake. So, that's the starter on. Where is it? There you go. <laughs> How funny. So there's something going on with the neutral light. Because that's what kind of um, made me think of it. Now we've had a few issues. That's the remains of the nut on the starter bolt. So, oh, that's banging. Hey, I don't know whether to break it now. I'll put it in for an MOT. Considering all the indicators work, well, except for the fronts, but I've got like horn, eek, all sorts. Main beam, and all them off. Main beam light. Do I need a main beam light for an MOT? I think I do, don't I? Even smells good. After a ticket, and I fucking hell, and that's just running off gravity. Let's see if the switch does actually work, shall we? Yeah, something definitely fishy with the neutral wires that come out. So, I should do one for why, why you do get you don't start. So, oh, I'm pretty happy. Alright, take care my lovers. That's the next project. Woohoo!